Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, and welcome back to the Pokemon Snap LP. The finale, for that matter. The Rainbow Cloud is where we get the rarest Pokemon in the entire game, and the most elusive Pokemon in the entire first generation. Yes. Alright, this is hard as hell, I used to be really good as a kid, I'm gonna try. The Pokemon is obviously Mew. First thing it does is appears in this little green force field. You have to hit it three times. Because you can't take a picture of it while it's in the force field, obviously. This one's all timing, it's really not that hard. It's the uh, third phase of this that's really difficult for me. Alright, now it starts zooming at you in a yellow force field. And at the end of it, you really only get one shot. I mean, if it gets back into its force field, you get another shot to try and hit it. Yeah, you get another shot to, <coughs> excuse me, knock it back out of the force field, but you really only will get like two, maybe three shots at best to do in this. Now, whatever side he's going to appear on first is completely random. Okay. Oh, come on. Hit him. Hit him. Damn it. Okay. It's not done yet. Okay, now I'm thinking he'll appear on the left side. Nope. Come on. Oh, Jesus. It's very nerve-wracking, knowing you're only going to get a handful of tries. Up here on the left side. There's no way that did not hit you. Alright. I think we'll get one more shot at this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. All right. We got it. No, no, don't disappear. Damn it. Okay. The game's being generous. There's a lot more time than I remember there being. I think I'm about at the end of the course, though. I don't see any more constellations. Oh, come on, hit him! Oh, this is nerve-wracking beyond belief. Come on, hit him, hit him! Oh, God, I can see the end of the course. I can see the end. This is our last shot, guys. All right. Hurry. Got to keep hitting him. No! Welcome back. All right, guys. We'll do it once more. I did not expect to do it on the first try, so that's that's fine. But from what the timer's telling me, I've got about a good solid three minutes of the course to do it. So, I mean, as long as I don't screw up, I should be alright. Alright. I don't want to keep you, I just want to snap a picture of you. Come on, work with me, bud. You've always been, like, one of my favorites. I think everybody loved me just because of how elusive the thing was. It was like, you know, the whole Poke Gods crap that was going on back in the time and, like, all the lies of, like, oh, this is going to be a legendary Pokemon. There were rumors of Mew in the game. And it's just the kind of thing that's never been captured since. Really? Okay, that's fine. Okay, we can screw up one time, obviously, so. There we go. Hit him once more. Okay, that was not good enough for my liking, but I'll take it if Professor Oak will.
Fantastic. Okay, I don't even care anymore. Hit you with a pester ball, though, for being such a pain in my ass. Gotten pretty good at the, you know, from downtown that this game requires you to learn. Do it to music. Have an apple. Oh, you can use apples! You made me angry. Alright, now let's just race it. You know what? No. We'll just quit the course. Wow, that was, uh, that was stressful. I'm thinking the first one we got, though, was, like, just about perfect. I think I want to go with this one. Yes. <sighs> Alright, first off, before he says things, I love how bad my acting is, because, like, in the Super Metroid Let's Play, the baby Metroid died, I was like, no. I miss a shot of Mew and you heard the gentleman, no! But Mew's so rare, it starts off with a base of 2,500 points. Professor Oaks thinks the size is okay. Loves that pose. Almost 10,000 points just for Mew. What is it, Professor? Oh, uh, well, I tried. See you. Oh, I love the end of the game. And then it shows off the pictures that you snapped throughout the game that you gave to Professor Oak. I gotta say, not a long game, but it's fun. It, it's got a lot of cherished childhood memories for me. I sunk quite a few hours into this game. I probably played through it like ten times. I probably played through this game like to completion. More than any other game I ever played, just because it's so short, and I mean, I loved it. I adored this game when I was a kid. Oh, there's that dead graveler we snapped a picture of, and... Honestly, if you guys want to cut it here, I would understand, that's fine. It's just credit to me talking over it. I just didn't want to leave on too short a video, but I guess if there's nothing really going on, I could go ahead and end it. Just want to see how that picture of me looks if they throw it in there. So, to anybody watching the video, I do just want to say this. Like, what's your favorite memory of Pokemon Snap? What were some of your best pictures? You know, just describe them in the comments if you want to. I would love to hear about them. Hey, Sleepy Snorlax. And if I remember correctly, that's Professor Oak, Todd, and Pikachu, in that order. But, uh... I'm thinking that is the end of the game. I mean, obviously it's the end of the game, but there's just not much else for me to say. And the credits are done rolling, and they chose the most random Pokemon to show anyways. Oh, no, they're not. So then I'm still just rambling. Then I guess I'll just go ahead and cut what I'm saying. Um, to everybody for sticking along for yet another Let's Play, I really hope you enjoy this one. I'm not the best photographer at Pokemon Snap, I will go ahead and say that. But it really means a lot that if you guys are enjoying my videos... Oh, there we go. I reached the end. Pick some of my shittiest pictures to put on display. But, uh, until the next time I decide to do an LP, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do just yet. I've got some ideas. But, you know, you guys will see it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.